set. Thank you. So the idea of these projects is to have methods by which, to which, by which you can mitigate the spreading of this virus or the future one. And one of the problems in, the, in using the current method, if you use bleach, solu bleach solution and you spread it over the hazmat, it just drips. It doesn't stay there long enough. So we are looking at ways to generate, you know, I like beer and a lot of people like beer, I'm sure. So we thought, you know, how about if we use foam, which should stick to almost any surface, depending upon the structure of the foam. So our idea is to generate nanostructured foams so that it will, it will stick to the surface for whatever time you want. In the case of Ebola, to us, this project started at the time of Ebola half, for half an hour. So depending upon that, you can, depending upon the time you want, you can control the formulation. And we tested this foam structure uh, on, a, on, a, on a screen that you can see that in front of the Columbia garage. At 7 a.m. by graduate student, I'm not a morning person, I wasn't there, but that, that's where it was tested. Okay, so the main idea is to then, to eliminate the use of bleach, which has other problems that are shown here. They irritate the skin, the bleach fumes cause lungs to burn when inhaled too much. And if you use vinegar, uh, for various purposes, it creates deadly gas. Try to move this. Uh, okay. Also, exposure to quartz harms spring quality. I don't have to worry about that this age, but a lot of people should worry about it. Spring quality. And the widespread use also produce superbugs. That I do have to worry about because it avoids, it, it makes it difficult to use antibiotics, as you know. And the potent chemicals can contaminate the surfaces that come in contact with. And more serious problem is that the toxic effluent is a major problem. So the idea is how to avoid the use of um, uh, the bleach foam. So this is the foam, this is the wet foam, which still has a lot of liquid. We want to also avoid the toxic effluent, such as that is generated during washing of any kind of uh, surfaces, lot of uh, so that want to avoid. So if you have if you have the wet foam drain, this is the um, photo generated by my mentor, previous Dr. Meisels. All his uh, most of his men protesters went to Nobel Prize. It, uh, it, uh, then, anyway, he's in the heavens now. Um, and then you get the dry foam. Dry foam has very, very little liquid between the lamellae, between the bubbles, and so not much is generated. That's one of the main advantages. And you can have the formulation in such a way that it will kill the virus. Another advantage is that we could incorporate Penetrate super super spreaders like the silicone shown here. My first graduate student uh, makes this, some of these modified silicones. He is a genius. He also made, by the way, the first the first flat plate uh, display system we are looking at. And they can penetrate because they can penetrate into cracks, and they can also penetrate in under the under the rug, which is it's where usually virus can hide. And this is very, very important. So, so that is what, and another purpose was some of the surfactant soaps that you use are toxic, like sodium lauryl sulfate. If you wash your hands very often, then you will see, if you look at your hands, the hands become dry. Our idea was to use benign microbial biosurfactants, which are some of them are shown here. But more important one was the surfactant that is generated actually by the microbe. Surfactant is very effective. It also has uh, uh, other effects such as to stop the cancer and things like that. So this was another another project. So with that, with all that, we we uh, 
generated this formulation the idea by which the foam life is controlled is shown here this is a lamella between two bubbles and these two surfaces come towards each other all the water will go and the bubble will escape but if you if you have the right kind of surfactant layers which repel each other then some of the water will be retained and that is how you control the structure by controlling this surfactant layer you can control the amount of water that is drained that is how you can control it in the formulation and so what are the advantages first of all you can you can use minimum bleach just that just that is necessary or new no bleach at all in some cases the other advantage you can get nano structured foam which will stick to surfaces then sufficient deposition and uniform coverage which you can test very various which you can get uniform coverage so there is no there are no spot left and also as i said you can reach uh, uh, not only roofs uh, which has if, we, if i have a roof like the one i have here to absorb sound there will be also a virus that will absorb here and it has ordinary ordinary sprayers and no splash back splash back is always a problem when you are in a hurry uh, and you can use some of these sprayers or or bigger ones if you want to use rooftop or even top of air aeroplanes you can use such things so there are various ways to use use it uh, so this is the last slide i think so results we have developed optimum robust formulations and the formability it was studied which i didn't cover at all using infrared technique and other techniques i didn't cover that here uh, and degree of foam deposition on different target surfaces was looked at foam delivery options also was looked at using various uh, very very simple like the one that you use for car wash and finally our product uh, it, that is licensed to uh, a, a company called universal formulations is is on the market this is that is there but we don't they don't have any funding we don't have any funding to market it to have a tv advertisement and every, everything on everything so it this trademark pending so we need funding to for 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 marketing or some kind of venture capitalist so we are hopeful this is and you know unfortunately as you know this virus is not going to go away for a long time or there will be other viruses and this kind of strategy is very very important for future pandemics also so this was supported by one of the nsf rapids and we are very very great, great, grateful for that without that we couldn't have done it so thank you and i hope uh, i used just my time sufficient time yes thank time. you very much that was that time lawrence said